I wrote this last song for my wife, Jennifer, and for our relationship. Because our relationship was suddenly showing itself to be the dysfunctional stories it was built on. We were born into these stories. We adopted behavior we didn't know we adopted. It started to create our actions and our thoughts about what love is, what relationship is, what partnership is. And it was deeply flawed. And how could we possibly do work in the world if our relationship was not itself a reflection of what we wanted to see, be the change you want to see in the world? So we had to work on ourselves as individuals, our relationship as a couple, and then we could move out into the world. And then the larger reason started to appear. Once I had written this song, I realized, oh wait, this isn't just about me and us and what we're going through. This is the world. And so here I am again with my dad in this room. That It's the same room where the piano was, actually. And when I was about five on, on this television, I saw something that... Show, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Changed my life. Me and 70 million other Americans, we were all galvanized to this moment in time that had all this energy and exuberance and hopefulness and life to it. It was unbelievable. But on the same television, at the same time, my little brain was watching something else that it could not comprehend. And it was people turning hoses on other people. I didn't understand it then, and, and I used to say I don't understand it now, but I do understand it now. This was deeply embedded in the fabric of this country, and it continues to this day in different forms, and this is what has to change, and it's really not that hard to change it.
we go. Ready? Love in the time that we live. Can we love in the time that we live in? Okay, one more time. You can do it. It's going to be great. Love in the time. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.